All right, so I know I'm really fucking late to this topic, like I am with most things, but I thought I'd still give my two cents on this whole debacle since, one, if we're being honest, the main topic of discussion for this video is most likely going to pop back up whenever another Souls or even just another FromSoft game gets released in the future. Two, the arguments I'm going to be presenting aren't inherently related to a single entry in the Souls series. Three, I wanted to use this video as a means to address a certain mentality as a whole, one that, as I'll get into later, comes from a place of self-entitlement. And with that little tidbit of info out of the way, I'd like to take a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, normally this isn't really a topic I would delve into, mainly because of the fact that while I do play video games pretty often, mostly bad ones unfortunately, I wouldn't call myself that much of a hardcore gamer. Sure, I love to play some Red Dead 2 or some Ghost of Tsushima, but I'm not a die-hard gamer. And I'm certainly not an RPG guy. However, with that said, if there's one thing that can catch my attention, it would be utter retardation, fatherless behavior, and selfishness. And with some of the dialogue surrounding Elden Ring, the most recent game to be released by a developer from software, I'd say this meets all three criteria. For you see, much like Filthy Frank, I am also a professor in severe internet retardation. Are you sure about that? Okay, fine. My credentials may have been fabricated. Much like Elizabeth Warren's heritage. But all jokes aside, the whole argument surrounding Elden Ring, the Souls games, and difficulty sliders is beyond idiotic. And if I'm being honest, it comes from a bunch of people who are far too spoiled and childish to accept that, sometimes, things just are not meant for them. Now, this probably doesn't need too much context, but fuck you, I'm gonna give it anyway. As I stated earlier, Elden Ring is made by From Software, the same people who made the Dark Souls series, which, as I'm pretty sure you're all aware, the Souls games are notorious for their extreme difficulty. Now, I'll openly admit that I am not an expert on these games. Hell, most I played was a bit of Dark Souls 3 before I lost my mind like a fucking spastic. However, I know enough about the type of games that From Software tends to make to address this whole point. For you see, much like with previous games From Software has developed, a select group of sad little spastics decide to have a little tiz of fit over the difficulty of their aforementioned newest release, Elden Ring, and how all games should have difficulty sliders. Which, as I'm going to explain, is utterly stupid for a number of reasons. For one, there's the whole mentality of this statement. Oh, this thing that's meant for a specific audience doesn't match my personal preferences, therefore it should be altered. Ah yes, just because something wasn't meant for you, a more casual gamer, it should be altered to meet your demands rather than stay the way it was intended to be. Hold on for a second, I've got something for you. Okay, fuckery aside, do you realize how stupid this statement sounds? Like, apply it in any other context and it sounds like some of the most entitled shit ever. For instance, Oh, Portal's too far out there for me. They should make their sound more accessible. Even though part of what makes Portal so interesting is how chaotic and dissonant their sound is, their music is very much an acquired taste and it's not for everybody. And anyone who has a problem with that could get fucked by a razor blade. Now I get that one is a video game and the other is a band, but either way the point still stands still be some random loser crying that something that was never targeted towards you doesn't fit your bullshit needs. Before someone says, Oh, adding a difficulty slider wouldn't change anything. Stop gatekeeping. First off, gatekeeping is based. Cry about it. You special needs retard. You watch, you learn, you cry about it. Secondly, you're still missing the point. If a game is designed to be insanely difficult, then said difficulty shouldn't be altered, especially not to, as I said earlier, appease a demographic that it was never targeted towards. And also, let's be real, with games as notoriously difficult as ones in the vein of Dark Souls and company, what is one of the main reasons to play them? To brag about being able to beat them. For a lot of people, the more challenging a task is, the more rewarding completing it is. This is true to a number of things, let alone certain video games. By making the game easier, the satisfaction of beating the game for a good majority of the core audience would probably be significantly less, given the lesser difficulty and all. In short, play the game as is, or put down the controller and stop being a walking vagina. Nobody should be forced to alter their vision so it better suits a demographic that it was never once intended for. If you want to call out a game for bad game design, glitches, bugs, and the like, that's fine. But if your complaint about a game comes down to nothing more than Oh, it's too hard. 
Get the fuck out of my sight. And keep in mind, I'm not some diehard FromSoft fanboy. I'm an outsider who is quite frankly terrible at Dark Souls 3 and for the longest time could not get past the first boss. However, I'm intelligent enough to understand that it isn't the game's fault and that I either have to get better at the game or just put it down and play something else. In closing, if I haven't made it obvious, I find this argument as utterly childish and self-entitled as they come. I understand wanting to just chill out, relax, and play a video game and shit. However, not all games are meant to be played like that. Games like that of the Souls games are inherently meant to be challenging. And yes, I'm going to keep drilling this point home. If that isn't your thing, fine, whatever. Don't expect a developer that was never looking to appeal to you to bend to your every whim. That's some beta shit, and as I outlined earlier, when you apply it to nearly anything else, it sounds insanely fucking stupid. I know I might be going overboard, but I genuinely question if these sorts of people apply this mentality to other aspects of life. Cause if so, good lord, they're more fucked than a young boy in the room full of Hollywood executives. Anyway, with that being said, I'm done here. This is the Absolute Degenerate signing off.